Hi, I'm Ariel Klepper here with Matt Pendleton at Sinai Innovation, and we're just following up on the panel discussion for success and team science success stories. Uh, so I'd like to ask you, in your interaction with successful scientists and people that have been part of a successful team, do you find that there's an overarching personality characteristic? A lot of the panelists mentioned good leaders and good leadership. Is there something in the people you talk to that have been successful that seems to be a common thread? I think it is important to have the right match. Uh, I think one of the panelists mentioned that you have to have the right leader and the right team together. Um, if those two don't blend, I think there can be problems because the vision has to be set by the leader and the execution um, it, you know, re is really dependent on that. So if everyone isn't on board with that idea, that ultimate goal, and everyone isn't passionate about that goal, then I think that's where you start to see some um, problems and conflicts and where things can get misdirected. Great, thank you. And Matt, go ahead. So uh, as someone who interacts uh, through print um, with uh, a very broad, popular uh, group of people, um, how do you see um, the, the interaction between scientists and, and the public? And how, how does the public play into um, encouraging good science and good team science and permitting people to fail and, and not uh, penalizing them too heavily for that? I think that's a great question. Um, the public is certainly hungry for scientific and medical knowledge. You know, I think there's some, a lot of studies show that most of the public get uh, their information about their health, for example, from the lay public, which puts a, a great, you know, sense of responsibility on, on journalists like myself who cover health and medicine. Um, but I think it also keeps keeps the scientists honest because um, certainly science is an iterative process and there are failures along the way, there's um, conflicting findings along the way and understanding that and parsing that apart is what science is about. Um, sometimes I think it's hard for a lay public to understand that because they feel like they're getting whipsawed back and forth between do this, don't do that, and things seem to change almost every day. But if you if they you know step back and, and looked at it um, from a thirty thousand foot you know perspective, uh, it really does make sense, and it's all part of that process of ultimately coming um, to the truth. Fantastic! Thank you so much.